All right, docs, what I want to do is just give you an idea of a way of just doing a daily note for a patient. This is me, and let's say I have not been in since April the 2nd. I'm going to put my cursor in front of the daily note, and in the third row, first column, it says no new causative factors. So it asks, hey, since we saw you back in April, any falls, trips, slips, or accidents? If they say no, you hit no, you hit the no complaint button here, where it says no new causative factors. And today's day is here, and they were last in on... Uh, April the 4th. Sorry, April the 2nd. So from there we can ask how they're doing today. So change the date. Today is July the 22nd. All right, so with that, how's your neck today? Any neck pain? Nope, no neck pain today. Great. Any tightness or stiffness? Nope, no tightness or stiffness. When did you feel neck pain last? Last time I felt neck pain was a couple days ago. So I can go to the far right, fifth column, third down, last felt pain on or about. And from here I put asterisk by the ones they typically use. And I would say, how would you rate your pain a few days ago? It was about a four. So we go to the first row, the third one down, last felt on, about, and rated, and hit that button. And next thing I know, they last felt it a few days ago and it was rated a three. So now I've documented that and um, they can have a new complaint. Let's say they have a new complaint of pain in the head. I can go to my complaint button where it says complaint and stiffness. But if you notice on the far right, it's also on the front page when we're on the front page under uh, complaints and stiffness. So it's going to be multiple places. So I can go under new complaints right here. And from new complaints, I can go to the first row, fourth down, and say new complaints, pain and stiffness. So today we have um, headaches, which are rated a, one, a two, and this began today, and I'm going to type in the word Z-E-S-T, and I've already made this shortcut with Apple, so that means this date is an estimate. Very easy. So I did this new complaint with new complaint in the header, so the next time I see this patient, let's say I come back to see the, the doc in a week, I take this new complaint, hit it, remove it, hit this, remove this. When did I feel it last? Don't care. I already asked them that. I put my finger where my keyboard is on two letters and I simply move it to the right and now I've used my keyboard as a uh, scroll or a cursor and now I can delete it. So on the iPad it's very easy to delete. Just pull up your uh, cur uh, keyboard on the far right and again I'm, right now I'm hitting the R and the Y and that disappears the keyboard and allows me to scroll like so. Subjective's done. From there for the objective I, well, I reviewed records on the first. I can get rid of that now. Again, just removing this. I can do my palpation findings on this individual. And uh, let's say he has pain at occiput and C1. And I'm going to check some visual range of motion prior to the adjustment. So the first row, uh, third, third row, first one down, says visual range of motion. I can say turn your head to the right, turn your head to the left. And now I have mild restrictions going to the right malnutrition going to the left and there's pain looking right and left and I would like to see this improve after today's treatment. Easy peasy. From there I can mark down any muscle spasms that the patient has um, and then it moves to my assessment. Well today they did have a new condition so to do this I would simply even though it says progress I'm going to do it again by hitting the progress button and then the progress I'm going to hit down has a new condition, single, with today's date. Awesome. I also can change the diagnosis from here, adding I'm going to adjust occiput and C1. And when I do that, I can now change the diagnosis. From here, I'm just going to select all, cut it out, do C1, paste back what I had, and then before status, on the far right, add or change diagnosis. I did this based on palpation findings. So now I documented why I've changed the diagnosis. They had a new condition under their progress, and today's treatment is going to be the same thing. I did a one to two region manipulation, I did physical therapy on them, and that's it for today. Where I did the therapy, for how long, what position they were in, what I adjusted. Let's say I'm going to adjust this two now. And when the person comes back, when we come back once more this week, we are done.